Hello everyone, my name is uh, Andrew Karasev and uh, today I'd like to show you the um, pure X++ code for generating the um, purchase order outbound document in uh, X12 format the um, uh, number 850 stays for purchase order we'll take a look at the uh, table structure to pick the tables uh, to pull data from and then uh, we'll uh, take a look at the source code in uh, Visual Studio. The code will be um, with hard-coded parameters for you to easy read the um, logic. Uh, apparently in your case you should do the methods with, with parameters to make it more elegant. Here is the uh, file in X12 format for 850 we're going to produce out of Contosa FTM company um, I'm not gonna do this too in the um, trailer for this too because uh, th this are this could be done on your own without uh, connection to the database uh, let's begin with uh, ST so uh, purchase soda has 850 and this is the uh, control number this at the end of this uh, gonna be uh, this control number and this is the number of segments including st and se 18 lines here okay and next one is bg line which gives you the uh, standalone purchase order in the purchase order number right then the second is date dtm which has uh, this date 2017 04 april 15th then uh, N1 company name, then N3 this is the address, and then N4 is a location, uh, geographical location, this is a city, state and zip. And then we, we are coming through the uh, purchase of the lines, PO1 with the um, line number, quantity unit of measure p pieces and then price per unit of measure uh, and then this is the item number okay and this is item description PID item description here okay this is the second line with two lines in uh, x12 format uh, also thousand pieces 20, 24 per each and the item number this and then item description this is first purchase order two lines count ctt and the amount mt is thirty six thousand dollars and then this is the second purchase order and this is the um, trailer for this st with the control number I, as we already, discuss, already discussed couple of comments on, on, on this um, uh, outbound pure in X12 format um, your supplier uh, usually gives you the uh, description for the uh, required ma mandatory fields and um, optional fields um, and uh, each one has different um, requirements however they use uh, standard X12 um, segments for example, you may have more fields needed for PO1, so check out with your documentation. Don't take this one and send it out directly to your supplier. You may face the, the, the fines for not being compliant 100%. But uh, we'll give you the, um, the way how to pick up the tables and how to program generic um, X12 for purchase order in X++. I'll be using Visual Studio uh, for Dynamics 365. If you are on Dynamic on Dynamics AX 2012, then you do the same in MorphX. Okay, so we will need two tables. It's a purchase order table which has um, the header for the purchase order, and then it's going to be purchase order line which has the lines uh, to this purchase order. The uh, link is by purchase ID. So um, I'll provide control number for ESA 
uh, and then parameters and then I'm gonna give you the um, I'll hard code the uh, place where I, 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 I record this purchase all order outbound txt now the I'll apply restrictions here take a look our restrictions are purchase status is one open order document status uh, two is purchase order uh, on the on the status like not like pick and slip for example or deliver it and then uh, a document should be confirmed otherwise you you are not ready to send it out to your supplier let's review in brief um, this um, selection parameters a purchase status document status and document state is three uh, you need to take a look at the um, ESA AOT or through documentation from Microsoft I, I'm using the uh, Microsoft documentation uh, purchase table for 2012 uh, Dynamics 365 would be probably similar and here let's go to fields this is URL you probably should look in look for um, the um, set of tables here p tables in x2012 and then you look for purchase table for p tables okay now let's go to fields and let's uh, look for document state uh, this is an enumeration uh, and then let's take a look at the uh, options we have here so, so we will have a uh, confirmed purchase order 40 this is what you see in our selection 40 document state uh, now document status 2 let's take a look at this document status it should be right here document status also enumeration uh, so true stays for purchase order so you can see it may be on the confirmation state on picking list state pack and sleep etc so we will use uh, this purchase order too and then uh, finally uh, purchase um, status this one okay let's look at this status purchase status enumeration has the options I'm gonna pick um, open order one we not gonna look for received or invoice not cancelled apparently because uh, it's it's too late to send it when it's already received or invoiced we're gonna use um, this one open order and in my case I'll give you the uh, US 104 out of Contoso uh, USMF and this one has two purchase order of these types above alright so let's begin with the first um, we're gonna convert the date of the purchase order create a date time to the uh, format the format here if you look back to this document uh, it is uh, without the uh, flashes so it's like a year and then immediately months and then immediately day without any dividers so in order to produce this there is a nice function like this so I'll, I'll just I tried to describe the parameters uh, applicable to our conversion so check it out here make a screenshot if you like and then we'll use it here all right so these two uh, I'm gonna skip but you can uh, you can easily produce them from uh, from the custom whatever tables you create or just hard code hard code them uh, the same for the trailers back down here for the trailers of this GE IEA okay so we'll begin with the uh, so with ST we will write down the um, 850 and then uh, control number take a look at the um, file writing method here so we use this string writer okay so then um, 
we will produce um, N1 and uh, for N1 you just use um, from the purchase table purchase purchase name and um, order account um, for the vendor you need to um, actually separate this in, into the into this section where I introduce parameters it's it's a kind of um, kind of uh, complex so just follow this uh, scripts to get um, uh, the address for the vendor city state and zip so you need this portion for this now we go to cycle for purchase of the lines this is the second while okay purchase of the line table now this one has um, PO1 which has many parameters in it so in my case I, I use only a few of them five so in your in my case it's a line number purchase quantity unit of measure purchase price per unit and then item ID um, the, for the uh, second line PID I use a uh, purchase line name from this purchase tape purchase line table then I record um, count for for the um, uh, this purchase order CTT and then I record AMT line amount for this purchase order okay it's gonna be a um, cycle so you will see two purchase orders in this uh, document for the same supplier okay now the uh, there is the uh, requirements for SE record I'm counting segments and then that's it I, I'm closing my um, writer I have I, I need to have a couple of um, counters one is uh, for um, one is for segments and the second one is for the amount for the purchase order so I'm counting them here so this is coming for each each line in your um, x12 document and this this is summarizing the uh, PO1 um, extended amounts and these counters are in um, AMT this uh, currency of total amount for the purchase order and then at the, in the trailer SE as end and this is counting segments I'd like to show you the technical side of uh, creating this project uh, if you are familiar with that you can skip this okay so you create the uh, project in Visual Studio for Dynamics 365 and then uh, you add the class new item code class give it a name I gave it this name then um, in the class you ca you create this code I have it here I have only main method for debugging and then I have um, one write text line by line method to build the whole file uh, apparently you will have uh, several methods with parameters to call from one from another um, to make it more elegant and less code we'll place several breakpoints before debugging this um, code then um, you will need to make this object uh, this class um, startup object right click and say set as startup object like this and then uh, go ahead and uh, launch the debugger now we got the first uh, stop on the on the breakpoint you see 2017 for the year 04 for April and 15 for the date for the day okay now we'll continue debugging 
Okay, now this is line N1 with the name count UUS104 purchase name would be Fabricam supplier and then there is the um, construction to read the address uh, for the vendor and through this take a look at, at this code I apologize for the complexity but that's the way to, to get it and then now uh, you will get the address let's place it here so finally at the city state and zip now this uh, is for the line number one purchase quantity I believe it's thousand yes and purchase unit of measure pieces purchase price it's read from the table item ID a0001 okay now I'm gonna take off these breakpoints and um, run the rest of the program so it says completed let's take a look at the file produced this is the file and this is our EDI file in X12 format for 850 document which is purchase order to purchase orders I don't know the way how to copy the code to YouTube description so you can make a screenshot of the uh, code if you like I'll slowly scroll down this first page this is the second page this is the third page and that's it final page this concludes uh, the presentation and uh, thank you for watching in my opinion you should be able to begin programming in 25 minutes